Hiya. Yeah. Tonight's review, I, Daniel Blake. Or as uh, Private Eye memorably put it, I, Duncan Smith. Yeah. Uh, Ken Loach's latest, it's about this guy. Mid, mid 50s, uh, he's had an heart attack, he's been on sick. He gets declared fit for work, uh, of course, and uh, he has to go down jobby and deal with, yeah, the travails of the benefit system, yeah. Uh, while he's there, he meets this uh, woman who has this kid, and uh, they strike up a friendship, and they kind of act, of it, act as his uh, a kind of surrogate family to him, yeah, as they both each struggling uh, to survive basically, uh, and that's that's the basic plot of the movie, yeah, what happens along the way, yeah, um, <clears throat> so what did I think, uh, well, Ken Loach, his latest, uh, if you know about Ken Loach, you know what he's about, yeah, uh, slagging off government, yeah, is it any good? <clears throat> it was interesting coming into it, for me, being a dolly, uh, how realistic -y this is going to be. Is it going to be realistic, is it going to be corny, is it, is, is it just going to be total bollocks, yeah? So it, it was interesting from that perspective. Hmm. And it's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much, I'd, I'd say, spot on from what I can, yeah, from my experience. Like, for example, the, them scenes in the uh, beginning where they're arguing in job centre, yeah, with, with some security people. And uh, I, I've seen conversations like that in job centres, yeah, where you sat there waiting for them to call you. And then there's some argument going on over there, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's true to life. That. Um, <clears throat> so I'd, I'd say, yeah, from that perspective, yeah. And it's it's the way it's shot as well. I mean, the acting's it's superbly acted, uh, down to a style of acting, uh, and the places where they live as well you know, kind of estates and all this. Yeah, so it's pretty much, yeah, spot on there. Um, but what it illustrates as well is that, yeah, if you're in your mid-50s, say, now, you've been working 20 years or what have you, and you get suddenly made unemployed, yeah, and you've got to go down to thing you for sign on and all this and it, you'll you'll probably find it's a lot different than what it used to be yeah we used to go in oh, oh i've been made unemployed yeah here's a form when you filled it out bring it back we'll do in a pot yeah it's all over the phone though it's all completely different yeah um and as well if you're not computer literate you're going to have to go on some courses out for, for do it all, yeah? And get used to how you apply for jobs, you know, over net. Um, so, but again, the more the more times you do it, the more you get into it, yeah, the better you'll get at it. So, if you suddenly dropped into unemployed system, no, like after 20, whatever, you'll probably have a... A difficult few months at first, yeah, until you get used to it, and it, that illustrates it in the film, which one at points is I'll, I'll come to it later, um, yeah. So, oh, yeah, overall, yeah, from from what I can see, yeah, pretty authentic, yeah. Um, the food bank scene. No, to be honest. I've never been in a food bank, yeah. I've, I've, I've luckily not had the the thing where, where I've had to go and get some food, yeah. Um, but that scene in the film, in, in the food bank, is a killer. It's like, 
because I, yeah, I, I can believe that somebody would do what, what the, you know, no spoilers, what, what happens in the film. Yeah, I can believe that, that somebody is, is such at the, the end of the tether that they would do that, yeah? So, yeah, like I say, it's a killer, that scene. Um, the only bit in it, I thought, that didn't strike me as being completely realistic was uh, the scene where he, he spray paints on side at Jobby, yeah? And he's there and that other guy comes in, hey, what's going on? Oh, that Duncan Smith, that cunt. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's a terrific scene, but for me, it's more of a movie type scene, yeah? Rather than a realistic type scenario. I mean, I'm not saying it's never been done where somebody sprayed on a job centre. It's just that that's how it struck me. It didn't strike me as being completely realistic. But uh, we'll allow one one movie scene like that in the in the rest of the movie. Yeah, because it's a bit of humour as well. Because the old... <coughs> I mean, you could say the old film's a bit of a downer, but it would be, wouldn't it? If you pour under Tories, it, it is going to be a downer, yeah? So, that's that. Um, yeah. And another good point about the film that it illustrates is, it, is that it's the system itself that's the bastard. Not so much the people who are, say, in the job centre, as it shows in the movie with that the character Anne. She's a job centre worker and uh, he's, he's feeling ill. Oh, would you like a glass of water and all this, yeah? Because, I mean, majority of people I've dealt with over the years down at Jobby, majority have been okay, yeah? Um, just trying to do job, get through the day, yeah? Uh... I've never had that many dealings with security, to be honest, either. Um, but regarding uh, the people at Jobber, yeah, occasionally, of course, like anywhere, uh, you, you, you meet the people who are on a bit of a power trip, or maybe it's the, uh, they've just started, you see, eager beavers, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, this is great, you can go on this, yeah, yeah, oh, 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 oh there's that scheme there, isn't it great, yeah, then two types, yeah, the, the eager beavers and, and the uh, power trippers, uh, you just got to roll with the punches if you get them, yeah, uh, but like I said, the majority I've dealt with anyway have been okay, yeah, um, but it's the system itself, it, it's under fucking uh, Tories. I mean, it, it's just fucking ridiculous. I mean, Cameron Osborne, uh, Duncan Smith, these turds. I mean, the, the policies that they've enacted over the last few years, yeah, uh, which has resulted in about what? About 3,000 dollars being dead, people being kicked out of their homes or dying because they couldn't afford food or eating and all this while these fucking idiots are off earning thousands on, on lecture uh, tours you know it's like just piss off back to your mansion and go and eat your caviar and chips in it and going and while you're at it go and count how many offshore bank accounts you've got you've got as well you shitheads fucking ridiculous while well, people are like dropping dead and starving, yeah? Honest. I mean, th this is... One of the things about the film is that... Th one of the good aspects of it is that it, it kind of, yeah, it kind of focuses your attention on issues or, or on things that are happening now in our society. At least it's making it known what some people have got to go through, yeah? And, uh, yeah, more cuts aren't we, though, more cuts. Hmm, isn't it great? Yeah, I wonder who's going to take the brunt of that one, then, with all these cuts. Hmm, let's have another think. Yeah, let's have a think about that a minute. Fucking ridiculous. I know I'm ranting. Bit of a rant, though. Uh, what else? 
Well, at least Brexit got rid of Cameron and Osborne, anyway. And what that other turd Duncan Smith is doing, I have no idea. But no, it's the new one in, in it under uh, May and all this. And that new uh, employment person, whoever it is, another fuckwit. Uh, but I mean, things are not going to get better. Also, as well, <coughs> yeah, uh, illustrating like people aren't sick, yeah. If you were on sick on the old system, yeah, you're on sick, that's it, you're left alone, yeah. If you're a dolly, ev uh, eventually you have to go on set work program, yeah. If, you, if you're fresh signing on now, you'll be given a year and then you'll be on work program where you go to one of these work providers for two years where they supposedly get your job, yeah. Well, if you, if you were on sick in old system, they left you alone. Eh, eh, not anymore. If you're on sick, you have to go down to one of these work providers as well for two years, even though you're on bloody sick. I mean, if you're on sick, you shouldn't be going down to them places. Ridiculous. I mean, they're not. I, I, I've personally heard, heard some stories, yeah, horror stories of people on the sick who've been to these work providers. I mean, they shouldn't even be going. They're not trained to deal with people who are ill, yeah? It's just bollocks. And by the time Tories are finished, fuck knows where it's all going to be, yeah? So, um, double rant there, another double rant. Ooh. Right, that's it. Uh, that's a review. Hope you enjoyed it. And as Columbo would say, just one more thing, sir, yeah? As it illustrates in the movie at the beginning when, when he's getting quizzed where they say, oh, you've not got enough jobs down here. Well, I couldn't find any or I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. that dog don't hunt. No, uh -uh. that won't work. Yeah, no matter how genuine your excuse is. So if you're signing on, you'll be given so many jobs or thingies for do a week, whether it be 10, 12, 15, whatever, yeah? Always do more than what they've put down. For example, if they give you 10, yeah? Make sure you apply or, or do enough activity, whatever. Make sure you do 12, at least. Because if you go there, oh, I generally couldn't find any, or I couldn't find any of this. Like I said, eh, eh, to get the uh, American Express, that will do nicely, sir, yeah? Do two more at least than what they say so if they, if they give you 10 do 12 yeah if they give you 15 do 17 at least yeah even if it means just phoning up a place yeah so you can write it write it down on your activities or it just just dropping in a cv to a shop yeah or or wherever make sure that you get that done and make sure you have the your required number of jobs, yeah? And you, you should be okay. Um, apart from that little tip, yeah, that's it. It's, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you later.